Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! Greetings from Poughkeepsie. So Kiss is calling it quits. End of the road tour, last concert. Some people are probably like, thank God I've been waiting for Kiss to hang up the costumes and put away the boots and throw away the makeup. Me? No. I'm, I'm a huge Kiss fan. Kiss is a legendary band. They've influenced so many different uh, styles of heavy metal. They're just an amazing, amazing band. I'm going to miss seeing that they're still touring. Luckily, I've seen them a few times. I saw them in the 90s for the reunion tour. I saw them for the Psycho Circus tour. And I also saw them with Aerosmith when Aerosmith was touring Honkin' on Bobo. I forget what album Kiss had out at that point. But all great shows. So happy I got a chance to see them. I wish I could have taken my kids to see Kiss. I guess I could do the pay-per-view thing, but it's not the same thing. So Josh, one of my best friends in the VC, is doing a... Well, he did a video and... Uh, He's hoping to turn it into a thread, so I'm definitely going to do a response to this. He wants us to talk about underrated Kiss songs. Maybe they could even be songs that you kind of wish Kiss would have put in the set list in these later years. Because as we know, if you're a Kiss fan, they sort of play the same songs over and over again. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say, if you are not subscribed to Josh from JC Flipside Vinyl Community, I'll leave a link below. You need to go over to his channel. He is one of my best friends in the VC, but on top of that, he's got one of the best channels on YouTube. So if you are not subscribed to him, please go over to his channel, subscribe, and uh, also make a video if you're a KISS fan as well. So he talked about underrated songs from the non-makeup years. I'm going to do the same thing. And like Josh said, he was born in 74. I was born in 74. So Really, the non-makeup years were right there in the sweet spot for he and I when it came to Kiss and MTV and all that. So, here we go. Most of the uh, non-makeup albums, I don't have all of them, but I'm going to show quite a few of them, and I'll tell you some of my underrated tunes. So, off of Lick It Up, I am going to go with the tune, And On The Eighth Day. I also could have picked a million to one. Those are two great tunes on this record. How about Animalize? If that cover doesn't scream 80s, I don't know what does. Well, then you turn it over and, you know, there's everybody there for you. Even Mark St. John doing his best come hither look. Let's go, um, let's go Lonely as the Hunter on this. I also like Burn Bitch Burn, though, too. Kiss Animalize, great album. Man, Asylum, when this came out, Tears Are Fallen was all over MTV. Man, I love that tune. But I'm picking underrated songs. So here we go. I think Josh picked King of the Mountain. I'm going any way you slice it. I like Trial by Fire as well. Great album. Crazy Nights. Man, I love this album. Such a good record. Man, I like a lot of tunes on here. Underrated, I'll Fight Hell to Hold You, that's great. Um, Bang Bang You is fun, I like that song. When Your Walls Come Down. So many great underrated tunes on this album. Hot in the Shade, not my favorite by Kiss. It's still a great album. And again, the hits on here were Rise to It and Hide Your Heart and, of course, um, Forever. But let's go underrated tunes. I like Cadillac Dreams. Betrayed is great. Loves a Slap in the Face. Yeah, a lot of these... Um, Underrated tunes are going to end up probably being like a lot of the Gene tunes. Because if you're a Kiss fan, you know, Gene sort of kind of disappeared in the 80s. It was more of like the the Paul Stanley show. Revenge. Heavy, heavy. 
record. So many hits on here, but un, un, underrated for me on here. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I like the tune Paralyzed. I also like Spit, but I'm also going to go with the ballad. And this probably was sort of, I, I think it could have been a bigger tune for them. The tune Every Time I Look at You. And I know that they did it on the Unplugged album as well, but that's an underrated ballad. That should have been huge. Maybe it was the time. I'm not sure. And I think, did they release it as a single? I'm not sure. If they didn't, they should have. So there you go. Some underrated tunes. Kiss, you will be missed. But knowing Gene and Paul, there's probably going to be some sort of Kiss thing even after this. So what do you guys think? What are some underrated Kiss songs for you? Jump on this thread and also head on over to Josh's channel and subscribe. All right, guys. Bye.